Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Vicious RV here, and uh, as, as I've talked about in previous videos, we have seen an utter explosion of new floor plans this year, and today what I want to do is I want to go through like my personal favorite top five new travel trailers that uh, were released for the 2024 camping season. And this is not to say that these are the top five best campers, these are just five new floor plans that didn't exist from these manufacturers before that I went through and I went, I, I really, I really like that. Like I could see myself camping in that. And they're not necessarily in any particular order. There's no major winner here. This is just a kind of maybe if you're, if you're sort of like, hey, I wonder, uh, you know, maybe where I should start looking at camping, uh, a kind of a compilation video with a couple different ideas out there. I'm also going to leave you links in the video description so that if you want to um, see more than just the quick peek, like two minutes flyby videos that you're about to enjoy hopefully <laughs> enjoy um if you want to learn about some of these in, in far more detail take a look in the video description you can also find links to see where we have them available and what they're running at any given day let's get started first up is uh, a new entry from vibe they came out with this small simple easy camping no slide little couples model that I actually didn't even realize was a no slide model the first time I went through it they also have a couple other fun little updates and little twists on the common uh, sort of recipe there, and that is the Vibe 19 RB. Hello everybody, welcome to Bish's RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd, and behind us is an RV that literally tricked me, and I mean that in the best way possible. At the time this video rolls out, I've got about 15 years of experience looking at campers. I'm basically a professional looker at her and talker about her of campers. Those are technical terms. That's my actual job description. And when I went through this one, uh, you know, it's like farmers. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two just off pure experience. And I went through, I said, okay, it's a Murphy bed. All right, small camper. Okay, nice bathroom. Okay, nice pantry. And then I went, ooh, you've got this nice little breakfast bar, dining bar right off the campsite of the RV with a Euro window to get sweet airflow. But at the same time, it actually has a pull down bug screen, which a lot of the Euro style windows do not. So I'm like, okay, this is a really good camper. I looked through it a little further. Like I said, really nice pantry space kind of caught me off guard in a pleasant way. Um, also, it's a little bit taller inside, so I can stand in the shower. I like how the Murphy uh, sofa has those kick-out recliners. When the bed's down, you have headboard power pockets. You've got wide stand stability axles for easy towing on an RV that's not, I don't even know if it's 24 feet long. It's right on that cusp. It's lightweight, uh, but it has a really good cargo capacity, so you can actually tow small and camp large in this little thing. And that's the thing that threw me off. I walked out of the camper and it had such a big spacious feel, it tricked me. The rep was standing right there and he looked at me and said, not too bad for a no slide camper, huh? And I stopped dead in my tracks with one foot in the air getting ready to walk out of the camper. I turned around and I took a second look at this thing and I went, oh my gosh, this is a no slide camper. It felt so big inside that even with my experience, it made me think it had a slide out. It has slide out comfort and space in a no slide, lighter weight, easier to maintain kind of model. There's no road mode. It's just good to go all the time. There's a lot of really, really good things going on with this one. They've uh, standardized a little bit better solar package than they had, heated belly, tank heaters, bigger air conditioner, and a lot of other things. Vibe is a brand that has kind of come out of nowhere that I think might be worth putting on your radar. And next up, a new entry from Alliance. Their Delta Travel Trailer series here was really their first primary entry into the non-toy hauler travel trailer market. And their first few floor plans, while they had really nice features, they were layouts that you had definitely seen done to death in the industry before. Um, but I feel like they're finally catching their stride and they came out with a new take on a classic rear kitchen. They really kind of captivated me in their 294 RK Delta series. Everybody, Josh the RV Nerd of Bish's RV here down at Alliance today. I was invited down again to get a first look at another of their new Delta models. This is the new 294 RK. And it's it reminds me a little bit of some things I've seen from like Cougar, Sprinter, something like that. But I've never seen it executed quite like this. So first of all, uh, if you remember from our original Delta videos, one of the really cool outstanding qualities on these is that there's factory standard with dual air. But not only are they 50 amp with dual air standard, 
They are actually using the same kind of air conditioners that you find on something like a Paradigm. They are both Power Saver and Soft Start, which means in English, you can run both airs on 30 amp service. And I don't know that that's been done in the, uh, in the recent market in travel trailers like ever before. So that right there is a cool thing. They're hot, cold, weather tested. They are completely carpetless and ventless in the floor. So super, super pet friendly. And this layout gives us a big, expansive middle living with an awesome rear kitchen. But what's interesting is the way that like most builders I've seen who have done anything remotely like this, over in the, the, the seating slide, they always stuff uh, a theater seat and a dinette. By actually shrinking the slide, they were able to make it a better floor plan, which sounds totally crazy. But if you look at this, they put the fridge in the slide, which, which uh, opens up a ton of floor space. That allowed them to put a bigger pantry on the rear wall with counter space on both sides of the stovetop. Awesome counter area, and I haven't closed the slide yet, but I'm, I'm gonna estimate that when the slide closes, you can still get to the fridge, which is something almost no rear kitchen does very effectively. That's a very rare quality. Now, one of the other things that really jumped out at me on this one was the dual power awnings on this. Instead of doing just one awning, um, they, they went with split awnings for 26 foot of campsite uh, awning coverage, which when you have that, that campsite slide over here, it, even though it's a shallow, they made it as small as they could. They gave you more awning space than, than almost anyone else is going to. And it's little details like that where Delta does it differently. And I'd love to hear what you think about this one as we go. Crayon Design has also come out absolutely swinging in their Imagine division this year. Between all three segments of the Imagine uh, series, I think that they've had like eight new floor plans, but it was actually this one little one that kind of caught me off guard because they managed to accomplish some things in a small, lightweight, single axle camper that I don't know that I've ever really seen done before. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd of Bish's RV here with something a little wacky, weird, and different today. I don't know if you're gonna love it, I don't know if you're gonna hate it. I know that I thought it was pretty interesting. This is uh, one of those new Imagine AIM series. This is their, their single axle smaller series. And uh, this new model, the MS, uh, has a Murphy bed in the slide, which sounds kind of wacky and I've never seen a manufacturer really accomplish that effectively before now. Um, it, it's always been like some kind of weird lumpy bed and it is still a bendy bed mattress like you find with most of the Imagines, but it actually lays flat. You know, it, it's not like half up, half down, kind of weird stuff. But what that accomplishes is it takes the biggest single fixture in a tiny camper, the bed, and it makes it go away. And during the day, you have a sofa staring straight at the entertainment center. They have an extended kitchen that you could easily use as like a dining bar. So you have dining, you have a sofa, and you have a bed with a really good kitchen and dedicated bathroom in something that's 17 feet 11 inches and barely weighs 3,700 pounds dry weight. They've done some very cool different kind of things on here. Um, the uh, Again, the front kitchen is surprisingly good. The prep space that you have in this little trailer is fantastic. The awning's not exactly large, but it's not like you could put a 20-foot awning on an 18-foot trailer, you know. Up top, they've got a base uh, battery-tending solar package, but there's some other cool things here. Like, um, the AIM series is actually one of the first times you've seen Grand Design use Asdell or any sort of composites within their build, um, with the exception of a couple of their toy hauler ramp doors. They've also got an enclosed docking center which is a little bit uncommon and not something you often find in a little rig like this. Goodyear tires, enclosed heated belly, all kinds of cool little things wrapped up in this one. I'd be kind of curious to know what you think about it here and we'll see what she has to offer. And chances are, unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, you've probably heard of the new Salem and Wildwood View family of campers from those brands. And while they're very, very cool, there was actually one new model that slipped out that I think almost got kind of overshadowed and, and had the whole view thing not happen. I think their new 22 Eras, E-R-A-S, is probably the uh, a, a model that would have made a big, big splash. Because <laughs> name another camper whose entertainment center can pivot to give you a bathroom fireplace. I'll wait. Okay, I can pretty much guarantee you've never seen something like this. For instance, have you ever seen a camper with a fireplace in the bathroom? Because I haven't. Woo! 
Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd Ambitious RV, and I bet you never thought you'd see an RV video begin like that. This is the new 22 ERAS, or as I like to think of it, Taylor Swift in her Wildwood era. Uh, this new little model is very, very interesting because it, it should qualify for a lot of half ton towability. It's just over 28 foot tip to tail tongue to bumper, so be careful of that 22 model number because, you know, it ain't 22 foot long. But it's also, it's not terribly heavy, but it gives us a very nice big spacious kitchen living room wombo combo with a wraparound kitchen counter dining bar that I, I love. I love arrangements like that. I'm just such a sucker for them. Uh, so it gives us good counter space, good prep space, and great window coverage. Even though this is not uh, one of the actual official view models, it is dangerously close. It has those big bedroom windows, the big uh, kitchen living room windows uh, to, to really give you some nice expansive views of things. Underbelly is forced air heated. You've got the superior stabilizer jacks on these. And today, instead of the conventional tin skin, we're looking at it in the platinum uh, package, the optional platinum package. It swaps the skin from the tin skin to the fiberglass. It the windows and it puts a window in the entry door and I like all those things there's benefits to all of them there's a little drawback to anything but there's a lot of benefits to that what's really crazy about this model though is not just that like cool direct facing pantry tainment system it's easy to watch TV from the sofa but the fact that like if you want to sit up in bed at night and with their versatile bed it's super easy to do that because the bed actually does tilt right up the living room entertainment and fireplace the pantry tainment wall pivots and swings around and does like sit in place it's an intentional design so that it faces the bedroom at night so you have a nighttime bedroom electric heater to really focus and concentrate you can have some awesome entertainment in there it is weird it is wacky it is wild and it is my kind of strange i i love goofy stuff like this but before we get to our final pick today, as I always like to do, I want to leave a quick honorable mention. Rockwood has also come out with quite a few new models this year, and there's something about their new 2517S that really struck me. Um, the uh, I'll, I'll leave a link for it in the video description if you want to kind of see what I'm talking about, because I think it's a really smart, it's less than 26 feet, lightweight, half-ton towable, great suspension, with an amazing kitchen and fantastic travel access overall for, like, travel stops. But... There was one new model that once again kind of slipped out there that really, really spoke to me. And that's the new 25 MLE Cougar. Again, coming in just about 30 feet. Awesome kitchen space, but with a full super slide, windows on the campsite, and just every little box that I personally look for to be checked in a camper, it nailed all of them and then some. So for the last three years running, I've said the 22 MLS Cougar is my number one personal favorite couples camping floor plan. But a lot of people say, yeah, but I don't like that it's not a private bedroom. And I don't like that the toilet's like right in the kitchen. I don't want to crap where I eat. Well, this one fixes all that. Welcome everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Vicious RV down here with a brand new Cougar floor plane, the 25 MLE. Uh, basically the travel trailer version of the 23 MLE fifth wheel. And it sounds weird that a travel trailer has a bigger model number than a fifth wheel, but it's just the way the measurements and the things work out because you add that extra tongue link so the model number goes up. But this one right here, it's it, it hits a lot of the same notes as a 22 MLS Cougar. This has A plus travel access. Not only can you get to like the kitchen and refrigerator, the bathroom and the bedroom, Room, you can even fully use the dining without ever touching the slide out which is something even a lot of other travel accessible RVs can't do so it goes above and beyond they've bulked up their solar package this year by minimum 10% what used to be 200 400 uh, 600 is now 224 40 660 all of which are still expandable and you've got uh, potentially 2,000 to 3,000 watts of inverter coverage on this depending on which of those bigger packages you go with they are still 0 to 110 degree rated um, they uh, the underbelly you know forced air heated enclosed radiant barrier uh it, heat dumps directly on every single holding tank and heat pads cougars go beyond where most people don't where they don't cougar does basically you've got their hyper deck composite woodless flooring structure which people ask all the time you know why why don't uh keystone why don't they use asdell in their walls well, why don't the Asdell brands use composite floors? You know, so they're they're kind of just doing different things in different places. But the the overall layout of this thing, the the couples convenience of this, you could put uh, you know some uh, guests in this one if you wanted to, and it's still like just 
under 30 feet, potentially still half ton towable, topping out at about 8,800 pounds. Um, you know, we've got like over 2,000 pounds of cargo capacity on this. There, This thing is a monster, man. And I could see this being one of the top five Cougars, not just trailers, but period, by next year, this time next year. I'm calling it right now. Let's see how it plays out and let's get in there. So as always, thanks again for tuning in. I'd be kind of curious to know of the, the units that I happen to present today. Again, these are not to say that they're the best. They were just my personal nerd preferred kind of picks. Which one sort of spoke to you? Or what was your favorite new model? How you doing, brother? Uh, how was your favorite? What is your favorite new model for this year? That got me all messed up right there. It takes kind of a lot to throw me off kilter. Um, you know, there's one that I don't have video of yet. I'll get it on my hit list. And I'll try to get that captured for you. And remember, if you want to see full videos instead of these flybys, check the links in the video description. And I probably should have mentioned this sooner. I did chapter mark this video so you could bounce around more easily to check things back out later. So until next time, thanks again. Take care, stay safe, have fun, <laughs> and I'm freezing everyone. You ever notice how four degrees on the uh, uh, the like on your phone when you check the weather app? Four degrees looks like Mother Nature has a stick figure taking a dump on your day. And I get it that it's like 56 degrees in South or negative 56 degrees in South Dakota right now, but this is cold enough for me.